welcome to day five of 30 days of al and today we are going to look at the event bridge design pattern and uh, in the world of interfaces it's important to preserve certain events over multiple implementation of the interface so just a recap on interfaces because we uh, interfaces were introduced in l programming and you know an interface is a contract when a code unit implements an interface it means that uh, you say that um, if i implement for instance this interface that i've created interface itax it means that i should have the procedure Pay and the procedure housing levy in my um, in my code unit that is implementing the interface. So every code unit that implements this particular interface, it's like everyone who implements this contract, this contract has an agreement that it should contain the payee and the housing levy um, method. And why is it important? Because um, for uh for implementations that involve maybe statutories that require really some some of the methods should be there to just create that uh, sort of uniformity in your implementations you uh you could implement the interface and maybe in some interfaces we might need them to have events raised for every interface maybe for this pay we could uh be needing the on after pay for the housing levy on after housing levy or on before pay on before housing levy and all that so uh, we could be having that particular need of having to also have a sort of uniformity in how the events are raised and it's not in all um, events that are being created but in some implementations then it might be important but when you look at this event uh, design pattern uh, let's start with the interface first let me just uh, quickly create a code unit and um, in this uh, code unit i'll call it tax because now the other one is i tax interface tax or i tax so when we have i tax and tax uh, if now we implement this interface the itax so it means and you can see that the implementation is uh, saying that we do not implement the interface member itax.pay and itax.housing levy we haven't implemented them too so we need to basically implement these interface members to just make the code unit work <laughs> or accept um, the interface implementation so the contract now has been fulfilled by adding these two methods now not as uh, method definitions for the interface but now as implementations for the itax code unit then we have implemented it and then now there's no error we have implemented the interface members so having these two interface members implemented um, there could be a need of raising an event maybe raise an event here and also raise an event on this other side. So we are raising an event and raising an event on the pay or the housing levy. So when raising an event, if um, maybe this is implementation tax, for instance, and then the, maybe the interface is uh, in an application and somebody has um, been able to add a dependency to your application and they have raised their event. So some people might not raise the event. Maybe on uh, the the procedure could be on after after pay. <laughs> Let me just create the procedure here. Uh, T procedure T event integration to publish. So on after let's say we only have on after pay or maybe on before pay 
and maybe on after housing levy. So when we have those two, um, the, the two events that should be raised ideally for this particular uh, interface. So for these implementations, we can simply say on after pay and raise the event on this side. So we have raised the on after pay event after implementing the interface. Let me see. Oh, I'm doing pay with double E. And then on after housing levy from this side. So we can see that now this um, implementation of the event is pegged on uh, the user because the interface has already been implemented, but the on after pay and on after housing levy has not um, have been enforced to to be implemented unless um, okay so the suggestion of the design pattern yes we are not adding it on the interface but let's come here we are creating a new code unit f to just raise the event and we are naming the code unit after the i scale uh, okay sorry this is i scale triggers but now we'll have maybe ITAX triggers. So instead of having these implementations specified here as local methods, we have them as another code unit. Maybe ITAX events. And then we'll have our implementations here. So in this event now, we can clearly identify, as long as we are using this divine uh, pattern, we clearly know that we'll have a code unit here, itax events, that now should be called. Like, uh, to raise the events, we'll basically be able to to call the itax events dot, dot on after housing levy, on after PE, and make them these uh, global methods. So uh, that's it for the design pattern. Um, of course, it's to supplement the interfaces. So in the event that you have an interface with methods, then you have a code unit for the events that should be called for every interface implementations. And once that you're aware of using this particular divine pattern, you'll always be looking for uh, the code unit that will now come come in to raise the event. And at least it will make sure that most of the events are raised uh, for every interface that has been implemented. So that's it for day five of 30 days of AL. I'll see you in day six of 30 days of AL. See you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.